Hello, my friends. This is your happy Stanford lady, Rachel Merkin, helping the creative you shine through. I'm so excited to be here with you. I had something super exciting go live yesterday. This is my new blog site, happystamperlady.art.blog. I'm hoping that you will go here and subscribe. Um, I will teach you how to make cards here like I do on my videos, but I also get personal and share some other things with you. You can access my videos from here. You can access my Facebook page. You can access my demonstrator website. So this is kind of your first step. Go subscribe to happystamperlady.art.blog. Please go subscribe to Facebook. Subscribe to YouTube. Thank you for all of those who've already done that. And I look forward to getting back with you now on a more regular basis. Hello, my friends. So today is my birthday. <clears throat> I am 52 years old. And uh, I had a wonderful birthday, actually. It was super, super fun. And I've been able to do some things. And that is all we're celebrating. Because last year at this time, I was really tanking and not able to do anything and getting worse and worse. So what a blessing to be with you, to be able to celebrate my birthday, to feel like I'm getting back on a better track. Okay, the card we're making today is a book fold. Now, um, I have shown you a book fold in the past, but I'm really, really excited because we had a challenge uh, my very first blog, we had a color challenge, and I decided to do a book fold, and I have to show you these hippos because they are fantastic. They're so cute. So we're pulling stuff out of the magic box. Um, I haven't been with you for a long time, but my idea was, I'm trying to kind of pull this in a little bit. I have these boxes that you can kind of get anywhere like a, a shoe box size, I guess. And my idea was that I wanted everything to fit in the box and then I could take a project with me and it kind of limits what you're using. So you use all your stuff a little bit better instead of like, oh, I want this. Oh, wait, I'm gonna go get this other color. Oh, I'm gonna go get the, this or that. So I like to put it all in a magic box. <laughs> so it organizes it a little bit better for me. All right. Magic box is empty. Super, super exciting. Um, check out those hippos. I'm so excited about these hippos. So, where do the hippos come from, you ask? How can I get the hippos, you ask? Fabulous questions. They're in the celebration catalog. Now, I can only show you the front of the celebration catalog because it goes live on the 1st of July. You are going to want those hippos. Uh, $50. For every $50 you spend for celebration, you can get something free. There's a few items for if you spend $100, you can get something free. These hippos, you spend $50, you get something free. And there are, drum roll please, hippo dies. So you get the hippos, obviously, but you also have all of these amazing dies. Like look at this little tubby and this boat. Um, the umbrella we're using is today, it's marvelous. And like they're swimming and their sunglasses, it's, it's ridiculously fun. And that's another $50 for free. Okay, so celebration, you're going to want to jump on the celebration train. The other thing that is going live on July 1st is the mini catalog. Okay, and try to get that. There you go. Off of the glare. This also goes uh, live July 1st. Lots of wonderful things. And so be watching for videos as they come down the pike because we'll be doing that a lot. Now. This went live in May, the annual catalog. It is alive and well and beautiful. So many wonderful things to love and enjoy in this fabulous catalog. You're going to want to go check that out. And the other thing is, if you spend fifty dollars with me, I'll give you, I'll get you a catalog for free. So. Yeah, there we go. And join my happy stamper lady team. I would love that. And then we can stamp together and have fun together. So many fun things that we could do. Okay. Um, this is something old and something new. That's what I want to show you today. So this is, um, I'm going to say it wrong, ranunculus. It's a flower. 
I, 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 they flowers are beautiful, but I kill them. So it's not my forte. I don't know. But anyway, this is an, um, a returning set. And so I thought it'd be fun to kind of do a combo of the two for our card today. So those are the two stamp sets we're using. The colors that we're using, Blackberry Bliss. If you know anything about me, <laughs> you, I, uh, oh, I'm wearing it today. Kind of like all matching with my card today. I love purple. I love Blackberry Bliss. So this is super, super fun. We're using Pool Party and we're using Soft Seafoam. Very pretty combination. Now, I chose the Pool Party on the Soft Sea Foam because we're going to use another celebration item today. This is envelopes and cards. I want to show you how they come. You get 20 cards, 20 on I'm trying to see the light is making it a little bit tricky to see the Soft Sea Foam. Let me see. I go a little closer. It's there's just like a really soft, like white design on it. So you get soft sea foam. That one's a little easier to see. And you get pool party. So you get 10 of each card and then you get 20 envelopes. And so I thought, what a fun way to like do like a fun combo with that. So we're also using those from the celebration. $50, you get that set for free. Then, we are using the Splendid Day DSP. I'm just going to get all my pieces here. I want you to see one of each piece. I have them cut down. It comes 12 by 12. I will tell you that. It comes 12 by 12. But I cut it down, and I thought that make it easier to see. Um, I'm going to move that a little bit because... One side of each of the papers is like a metallic, really, really beautiful. And then the other side, that is harder to see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Like a really soft purple. Really, really pretty. So this is called Splendid Day DSP. And it is in, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? It is in the new mini catalog. So you're going to want to check that out. There's actually a suite for the Splendid Day. This is just the DSP that you are seeing. Isn't it lovely? So pretty. I know. Oh, sorry. It gets really glary over there. Really glary for you. But it's really, really pretty. Oh, it's, it's just beautiful paper. It's really pretty paper. So beautiful. This is the one we're using today. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. So that is the Splendid Day DSP. I wanted you to see how pretty that was. Alrighty. So I always try to put up, if you see over here on the side, um, like a little notebook, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions so you can see all the pieces um, and, and what I'm using. I already colored, but I do want to show you these. I colored with um, my Stampin' Blends, and then I traced, and we are going to trace a little bit. I want to show you what I mean by tracing on the hippos. So we're going to stick with the colors. Um, so Blackberry Bliss pool party, soft sea foam, but the the main body of the hippo, I pulled in light fresh freesia. So I wanted to um, tell you the colors that we're using on our hippos today. Um, we also have some memento black ink that we're gonna be using. And then I have this specialty paper and I already die cut. I didn't want you to have to watch me die cut, but I did want to tell you about it. This is also it's called rose gold Mm, specialty metallic it, it specialty metallic paper I believe and I cut it in half because it comes in six by six and then we have adhesive sheets that you literally put on the back of your paper so that when you run it through the die cut this is my tr uh, tips and tricks for you today when you run it through the machine look at that little umbrella it actually becomes a sticker and I'll show you we're going to peel that off but so you put all these in the machine and then you don't have to put glue on it you just have it like a little sticker brilliant brilliant way to go stamping up so I wanted to show you that I'm not going to die cut because that's just a lot it will take a lot of time and we don't want to have to do that so Let's talk about how to make the card. What else am I forgetting? I have 
Uh, dimensionals, mm, pretty much always. Dimensionals are always like a good idea to use, I think. All right, and I'm going to have my handy dandy Stamparatus, which should always be your best friend because really, even if you're not using the plate, sometimes I just like having the base. I think you're always going to get a better um, stamped image because you have a solid base to use. And I just think you can't go wrong with that. Now, <laughs> I did indeed already stamp the butter or stamp the hippos. You need to see them. Are you ready for these little guys? Oh, I can't stand it. They're so cute. Oh, my gravy. They are the cutest ever. Okay. Um, the one thing I didn't do, so I just wanted to share with you a little bit. Go up a little close. I traced the whole hippo. I just thought their eyes popped out. So here's a hippo trace with the little eye. And this is the one I didn't do the eyes yet. And see how it's a little more faded? Like you can see that it's all traced around, but not the eyeballs. Let me let me show you what I mean when we do those eyeballs. We're just gonna do the eyeballs nice and close. I'm just gonna go around the eye and the little lashes. And then we're gonna go back and look at the difference. So this is a traced eyeball, and this is not. I that's just this is just me personally. I just feel like it just adds just a little something. And I hadn't done the little nostrils on the hippo. That's just me. You don't have to do that. It's definitely an extra step for you. But I kind of like doing that. And I'm a color gal. So once you get to know me and you watch the videos, you know that I could color everything. I'm a huge, huge, huge color gal. So I don't mind it. I don't mind coloring. I don't mind... Um, doing the little extra steps um so that's something you need to know about me i don't it doesn't um sadden me to color for hours i literally could color for hours okay so in the ranunculus romance i think that's how you pronounce it you can give me comments if you'd like we're going to use that beautiful rose and we're going to use um so eiffel tower it's like this cute little Eiffel Tower. And I love the just for you saying in the rose in the Ranunculus Rose set. I love to do, I think this is just me in general. I like to do cards that I could send that it, like it was just say just for you or thinking for thinking of you. And then you can use it for every occasion. You know, you're thinking of somebody, but maybe you want to send a birthday card or something. And I feel like it doesn't have to say. Um, always happy birthday. I don't mind if it says happy birthday, but I just feel like it doesn't always have to say that. Now, you'll notice that I have stuff written on here. We're going to cover it. You're never going to know what was there. I did that for my blog um, because I wanted to kind of show off the pieces and how you cut them. And I did step-by-step -step pictures for my blog. And I thought that was like really a fun thing to do and it really kind of helped me to stay focused in how I wanted to um, stamp the pieces. And it shows everybody exactly what we're using. We're going to start by stamping these beautiful roses. And we're going to start with our Blackberry Bliss. I think that is a nice place to start. And um, so I start stamping on here. Before I add, um, sorry, I got a little something on there. Before I start adding all my decorations. Now, this is what I mean by the book insert. So I've got card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. Up there on the notebook, you'll see. And then the card front, because this came like this with the beautiful card front, I cut off the piece at two and one eighth so boom this piece goes away so you have like half like half a card this card base and then you had this piece and i cut it at five and a fourth by one fourth and five by one inches so i cut a little bit off of here but i'm not wasting any pieces then i'm using the front and we'll use it in the rest of the card it, it just makes it really wonderful 
I love it when you're not wasting your pieces. I don't really waste anything. I try to make it all nice. So we're going to use our glue, but I have to show you this real quick. I'm going to see if I can pull it in. Mm, there we go. Look, it says, Happy Stamper Lady. This is from my wonderful friend, Donna. She actually gave this to me. Someone uh, made it 3D. It's got a beautiful butterfly. I'm a huge butterfly fan. Holds my glue, and then I did scissors and some of my um, blender brushes, blender pen. My, uh, just wonderful, wonderful little holder. I had to show that off. It's so, so cute. Okay, so we're going to use glue, and we're going to take this piece, which I am calling the inside booklet piece, which is at 8 inches by... Um, five inches scored up four inches and you're going to take the back of the booklet fold and you're going to add glue or whatever adhesive you like i like glue um once i started glue i kind of never went back and partly because here in ohio i think the glue really works really well i kind of noticed sometimes when i would use like um uh, like the tape runner and stuff, I kind of felt like it didn't uh, stick as well, like my cards would fall apart. Well, nobody wants to be getting a card that's going to fall apart. That's not exciting. Um, <laughs> not for me. I don't want to be given cards that are going to fall apart. Okay, so now you, now you get the concept of the book. So you got this, and then you're going to open it up, and you got this. All right. Now, we're going to take our rose in our Blackberry Bliss. It's kind of off to the side. You can see it off there. In our Blackberry Bliss, um, random stamping, and that's why it's on a block. Because if, if I wasn't random stamping and I needed to stamp something over and over, I would be using the plates of the Stamparatus because... Um, you're going to get a stamp, and if you have a happy accident, which we all do at times, you would be able to fix it if it stayed in the same place on the Stamparatus. So, this is the back page of the book. I took that rose, and I stamped randomly. Now, on this piece, I'm only going to stamp up at the top, and you'll see why. You'll see why that I'm doing that. I'm going to go here, and then on the back of the fold of the, of the book flap, I am also going to stamp with the rows. Try and make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm not going to stamp on this piece, but I am going to stamp on this front flap. So... The front flap, front panel, I guess I called it, you have a piece of cardstock. In my case, I have Blackberry Bliss, and that piece is um, three and a half by two and three fourths, okay? And my Blackberry Bliss is just the color that I'm using, but whatever cardstock you want to use, then that's the piece you'd have. Then I have a white piece that is three inches by two and a half inches. That is where one of the adorable hippos is going to go. And so I'm going to also add some flowers, some beautiful, some of these beautiful roses here on the front flap, like that. And then we're almost done with our Blackberry Bliss. We're going to bring in, this was the front piece that we cut off the front of the card, remember? And I think it could use just a little bit of that rose it shows up really beautifully actually I could stamp this rose on everything let's be honest so I think that this is a really good idea to stamp the rose there okay and I feel like I feel like I have I'm just gonna check here on my pieces I feel like I have all I want for the Blackberry Bliss so then we're going to take our chamois, I like to call it my chamois, and we're going to clean off the Blackberry Bliss. I do always check, I will tell you, see how I did that uh, down here? You want to make sure that nothing is coming up off of there, and then you know you have it clean. Okay, Blackberry Bliss is done. 
Now we're going to pull in, let's go ahead and pull in soft sea foam. We're going to use both. We're going to use soft sea foam and pool party. And now we're actually going to like kind of stamp around these dark roses. And it kind of just gives it like, um, like a shadow effect. That's what we're going for. So I'm going to stamp a little bit down here and a little bit down here. See how that's showing up? It's not going to be as bold and you don't want it as bold. This is, we're going on purpose with the idea of like just a little bit of a shadow. Now remember on this piece, I'm only doing it on the top and you'll, you'll see why. It is really, really beautiful. Okay, so we're going to come over here. And you'll notice I'm not doing as much like right here in the corners. It's because we're going to add that paper. We're going to add that decorative DSP. You'll see. It's really, really pretty. Um, this is just a card I made up, obviously. But I love it. I didn't make up the book fold. It's just, just the decorations. I didn't make up the book fold at all. I'm not sure where the book fold came from. I'm sure I just like found it from somebody. But I do love the book fold. So I talked about that a little bit in my blog because I love to read. And so I kind of feel like this, um, card tells a story. Well, who doesn't love a good story? I do. I love to tell a good story. Okay. So now I'm going to clean it off again. I'm going to do my sham wowie and clean it off again. And again, to see how I test, see how I tested it that there. Once it's clean, I can uh, move on to my next color. So our final color for our roses, and then we're just going to stamp a few words, and we're actually done with our stamping, and we're going to just put our card together and decorate our card, um, which I adore. All right, now we're going to go big. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. That pool party is really pretty. So it, um, sometimes I think I have everything. And obviously I do not have everything <laughs> that Stampin' Up! offers. But I don't, I didn't realize, I didn't have, um, I didn't have pool party and I didn't have soft sea foam in uh, stamp pads. I actually had to order them this last time. And I'm so glad I did. They're really, really beautiful. Like, that pool party is a stunner. That's, like, a really, really pretty color. I really like it. So, sometimes it's nice. You know, the um, paper is what made me decide on my colors. And sometimes you'll have that, right? You'll have your paper and be like, oh, I don't know what, I don't know what colors I want to use. Well, this one kind of decided that for me because... Um, it was the colors from the paper. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, there you go. Got a little bit of a glare. I don't know if it's from the glass. I apologize, but I hope you can see it. I'll hold everything up and kind of move it around for you so you can see it. All right, so that is done with the rose, the ranunculus, ranunculus, ranunculus. I think it's called ranunculus rose. So we're done with that rose. We put that to the side. Then I just had this little like, po like like looks like a like a postage stamp maybe. Um, it's not a necessity. I just thought it was really pretty, and I forgot I did have the Sahara sand. I didn't use the Sahara sand for too much. That's probably why I forgot to mention it because I literally just used it for this. <laughs> I think I just used it for my little thing. But see, like it looks like it's just like a little, um. Can you, oh, there, like a little postage stamp, just vintage, just kind of has like a little vintage look to it. I am all about like that cute vintage look. So then you just got, like, there you go, like look how cute that is. Oh, yeah, 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 super, super cute. Okay, so that's it, that, <laughs> the end, sorry Sahara Sand, you got a very short moment to, uh, <laughs> to have an audience. And then... There we go. Let's switch that out. And we're going to do words. And we're only going to do a couple words. In the hippo set, it says, make, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm looking down for a minute. I just want to make sure it's straight. It says, I love you a ton. I love you a ton. 
So cute. Okay, we're going to do this in the black. I think words in the black is nice. Or, or um, some dark color, like maybe espresso or night of navy. I like it when they're dark. Like, love you ton. So you got that word going on. Alrighty, and then we have, there it is, the Just For You, and we're going to do that, and we're going to do it over our flowers. We're going to do it right over our roses. Look at that. So beautiful. Okay, I think we're done with our stamping. We're going to start to assemble this book card, which really is not difficult. It's super, super fun. Okay. So, I don't know why, but I like to start in the back of the book. <laughs> I don't start in the back of the book when I'm reading. I will tell you that. I do not read the ending first. I do not do that. Okay. I like to decorate the back here with these strips that we cut off from the front of the card. I just think that adds just a little bit of an oomph to the back. And see, I wrote on it, but you're never going to know that. Like once I stamp, you're not going to care. You're not even going to know that that was on there. So, um, glue this on. So, this blog has been a long time in coming. Like, I wanted to start it last year, and then I started getting really, really sick, and it just wasn't there for me. And my friend Linda Moore and my friend Donna came over. Donna came over and actually helped me for several hours and sat with me. And just have just kept encouraging me. You can do this. You can do this. And um, I am technology technologically. Am I saying that right? Tech technologically challenged. I struggle. I do. I struggle with technology. And I just thought this is overwhelming. I just don't think I can get it. I'm really proud of myself because I just kept trying to push through. And my husband was wonderful, super patient. Um, and he's a tech wizard. He's super, super smart with the technology. And so he just kind of kept like looking things up and talking me through it, the page looks great. I really do hope you guys go and subscribe and leave me a comment. That would make me super, super happy. Something else I would really appreciate is because I'm just now starting up to do my videos again, if you would share, spread the news for me, that would make me really happy too. Um, Cause I would love to get my subscription base back up. And I know that's on me. I mean, I just got sick and just couldn't, I just physically and even mentally just couldn't make the videos at the time I have a little extra on that I'm going to cut that off and just fell away so I would appreciate that if you would help me to kind of get back on target with um, sharing my videos and letting people know I'm back out there and that's why I was super excited today's my birthday and Father's Day and the year I was born it was Father's Day as well and I feel truly, I know that probably sounds a little bit corny, but I am blessed to be alive, you guys. Um, they really didn't think I was going to be alive. Uh, for real, that's not dramatic. Uh, <laughs> the, in this last year, a couple times, we did not think that I was going to make it. And so I am really blessed to be celebrating. And I, yeah, I'm just blessed to be here. I feel very, very blessed to be here. Okay, first hippo in. Now, I will say this. I, I said it on my blog, too, and I really hope you guys kind of get in on this with me. I think we need to name these hippos. I think they need to have names, and I'm hoping that you will make comments with me to help me know what to name them. I'm just using this to kind of help her stick down a little bit. I think that that just kind of helps her to just, like, stick there for a minute. And now, are you ready? Okay, this is what I was talking about. So, um, I will take dies, like uh, the dies from like the hippos or whatever, and I will just take time just like sitting there and just like cutting them over and over. So, I have a pile of them. I'll show you here in a minute my little pile. Did you see how that just peeled off? Now, this is like a sticker. I do not have to add glue 
I literally am going to stick that down, and it's a sticker. Isn't that amazing? Look at her. Like little Mary Poppins cuteness. Um, so I want to show you this. This is from Isaiah and Nastasha for my birthday. My little Winnie the Pooh. And I thought he can hold all of my little stickers, right? Because, hello, who doesn't need a thousand stickers? Um, okay, so now... I am finding a heart. Go through and find a little heart. Um, these are tricky, but they work too. I just got to get my <laughs> I got to get my fingers around them. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I think I liked having a little heart over here in the love you time. Right, got to have like a little heart. We got our little umbrella. Okay, so let's go to this part of our book page. And remember how I said, like, I just didn't put anything down there? I'll show you why. This is a piece of cardstock, and I wrote down, okay, under decorative pieces. I apologize. Let me go back and just say, this is a strip of the cardstock. Um, this is five and a fourth by one fourth inches. And this is, um, I said five and a fourth. I apologize. This should have actually been five inches by one eighth. You saw me have to like cut, like cut that little strip off. Anyway, those are what I meant by the cardstock pieces on the notebook. And then this piece is four by two and three fourths. Okay. So we're just going to take... This cardstock piece, and I thought it looked really nice here at the bottom of the page just to give it a little presence, and it's Blackberry Bliss. <laughs> Who doesn't want to use Blackberry Bliss a thousand times? That'd be me. Um, so that piece I thought looked really nice there. Now we're going to get into our decorative um Oh, my nose. I'm sorry, you guys. My nose is just a little bit icky. We're going to get into our um, DSP, remember, from the Splendid Day. So this piece that I have here is four inches by one and a half inches. Is that right? Yeah, sorry. I was trying to read and put something down at the same time probably not my best moment so we're going to attach that because you just have to have that decorative dsp it's just really really pretty and as always i will tell you dsp like i'll tell you oh my goodness it's so beautiful really i really i mean i think our dsp is beautiful i am pretty obsessed with our dsp but i will say this i always feel good to see the dsp in person because it just has such a beautiful look. Now, I know that's got a glare, and I'm going to lift this up. That metallic is hard to see on, the, oh, there. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So that's that a Splendid Day DSP, but you can see it if I tip it a little bit, so you don't get that glare. Isn't that lovely? Okay, now, got to have another hippo. Remember, we got to name our hippos. I'm super, super excited about that. I love them. And I want to hear what your thoughts are on our hippo world. Okay. So, there's no rhyme or reason. I just think I want her over here. Um, you can put them anywhere. You could do whatever you want. Obviously, I always tell you, I like to give you the idea. You have the measurements on the notebook, so you can come back and you can watch videos, and, and you can see that it's different. Um, on my blog, when you go to check out happystamperlady.art.blog, what you will notice on my blog is, and this was super exciting, we had a color challenge, so this hippo card, sorry, I'm trying to get my, the only thing with the stickers is that you just got to get your, you just got to get it in there to, uh, to get the sticker off. Um, there, so you'll see that my hippo card, I actually did in two different colors. I thought that she should be looking like she's holding a uh, flower. Look at that. Look how cute she is with her little flower. And then I think we should have another heart. 
sorry, the stickers, they're not hard. You just got to get a hold of that piece. You just got to get a hold of that piece down there. I think you should have a little sticker down there, too. Look at that pretty little heart. Okay. We're almost done with our card already. All right. Now, for the front, we're going to have a piece of DSP at five and a fourth by three fourths. I put two of them down there, but I think I'm only going to use the one on this time. I'm just going to use the five and a fourth by three fourths. You can have as much DSP as you want, or you can change it up however you want. You can add as much as little as you want just to make the card yours. You should always have your own unique voice, right? To make the card yours. And, you know, this, this um, adventure with the blog hop... I'm really proud of myself because I really stretched myself. I really took myself out of my comfort zone and I really had to conquer some fear, to be honest, because I was I was fearful about doing this because it, it was overwhelming. It just felt like this overwhelming challenge for me. And that's not a bad thing. I just, I just had to get past that fear. So it was with some trepidation some tears it was a little bit of a hard week for us as we were trying to figure it out but we stayed persistent and kept pushing through and I'm so glad we did I felt very proud of myself when we were done all right now we're ready to do the front so this is going to be on the front so here's what I do for on the front <clears throat> so if you see like over here is where the card stops. So this is the only spot up and down right here is where I want that glue to be. So I kind of just eyeball with my finger. I kind of see how I have my finger up there. Kind of put the, my finger there so I could just do that one half. I just do, do the glue on that one half. And then I just kind of bump it up against the DSP right here. I'm just kind of bumping it up right there. And then again, I do love having the bone folder. Um, just kind of like to press everything down. One, it doesn't get your hands all sticky. You don't have as much like gluey hands kind of thing. Now is our dimensionals because our final hippo I think she should be on dimensionals on the front. So we're going to probably do like four dimensionals on her. Lovely, lovely little hippos. So I would love to hear in the comments um, what you guys have been up to, what your summer plans are. Do you have some fun things coming up for the summer? And just how life has been for you in general. Because I have been away and I haven't been able to connect with people. So that would make me super happy. All right. This, <laughs> this hippo is getting the royal treatment. Our little ballerina hippo. Um, so these can be glasses. Let's try to put it. Put it there. So, okay, there. You can see them. So you could have it just like glasses where you don't see their eyeballs. Like sunglasses, I meant. Sorry. Like sunglasses. And then, or you can pop out the center piece, which I am doing. Sorry, you want to be careful. You mean, you don't want to rip your glasses. Um, pop out that little center piece. There we go. And then be glasses, glasses. And I wanted her to have like actual glasses. I thought that that was really funny and I, I, and I thought she was really adorable. So I thought she should have these little glasses. So we're going to peel that off and then I'm going to excuse my head as I just like, I like eyeball her, eyeball her as I put her eyeballs on her eyeballs. Cause that's what I call my glasses. They are my eyeballs. Cause I, I really am blind without my glasses. Um, I had to go get my, uh, license renewed this year and um, so I went in and you know then they make you do the test and the girl's like so do you want to take your glasses off and I'm like um no I like I'm <laughs> like I'm super blind I'm like I'm never taking my glasses off to drive so they need to stay on because then you'll be asking me questions and I wouldn't be able to read a single thing she was asking me so that was pretty funny
I'm like Velma, I totally dating myself here. Well, I told you I was 52, so obviously <laughs> Scooby-Doo was in my world. Um, and my husband loves Scooby-Doo. So I'm like Velma. Like, I seriously am <laughs> completely blind without my glasses. Okay, are you ready for this? Let's try to move this a minute. Just for a minute. Lay, lay it down there. And do the card. Let's get this out of the way. Right? And do this card. On there whoops got that hang that down I have a couple look how cute they are I love it all right ready take a picture yay okay so that's for when it's uh, <laughs> so you'll see that on the front so this is our book fold card and then obviously um, you could write, you could leave more space to write in there. You can write back here. Another thing that I've done in the past that I want to share is like this, this, um, flap piece. If you just attached here, just on this backside, it could become a place to hold, um, like a gift card or something too. There's many, many ways you can do this, but I had to show off these hippos. They make me extremely happy. If you know anything about me as well, you know that I am love, love, love critters as well. So all kinds of critters, I'm super, super happy. Okay, let's go to the main screen. Oh, my friends, what a joy to um, be back with you. I really am going to try to blog every week, and then you'll also get a video. Um, I will do a post on Instagram and on Facebook as well. So please do me a favor and go subscribe. Happy Stamper Lady dot art dot blog. Uh, Happy Stamper Lady also on my Facebook. Happy Stamper Lady on Instagram. Happer Stamper Lady uh, dot stampin up dot net if you want to order on my website and I will help you order too and if you decide you want to join my Happy Stamper Lady team I would adore that as well. So my friends until I see you next week I bid you adieu.